Welcome to Beyond Disruption, where you'll learn how emerging tech is changing the world of accounting, business, and finance. Our guest experts break down the latest news in everything from blockchain to robotics, artificial intelligence to human intelligence. Tune in to find out how you can stay ahead of the curve. Hello, from our London office, I'm Kyle Hannan. In this episode of the Go Beyond Disruption podcasts, Digital Mindsets and Disruptive Trends, we'll be talking to Advisory Services Director Jim Burke of Greater New York-based Witham, Smith & Brown. We'll answer questions like, who drives digital change in a business? How do non-techies drive tech-based transformations? And how do we move from advising on changes to advocating for that change and then turning all of that into the action we need to see happen. You can find links and more information in our show notes, which you can view inside your podcast app. I'm in the London office of the Association of International Certified Professional Accounting, and I'm speaking to Jim Burke, who is in Rio with me, which is the name of our conference room. It sounds more exotic than uh, it looks, but uh, you've been traveling around, Jim. Where have you just been? Well, speaking of Rio, I have been to Rio, uh, but not recently. Uh, so l- recently here in London, I've been up to the West Midlands. I've been uh, in Sydney. I've been in uh, India, I've been in Mumbai, uh, literally all over the globe, speaking, preaching about the changing profession. And now you're in London for one day only. So let's look at what your online profile says about you. It describes you as a frequent speaker on everything technology. We've uh, found that out already. You're also the author of many articles relating to CPA firm technologies. You're a member of the AICPA. You're a member of the NJSCPA. You're a past member of the AICPA Council and the AICPA Board of Directors, as well as a past chair of the AICPA Tech Plus Conference and the AICPA CITP Credential. Committee. You currently chair Engage, so you're about to have a busy June. Uh, You're a past president of the NJSCPA in New Jersey, New York, and North Carolina, where uh, one of our head offices is based. So that all sounds pretty intense, but Jim, what about your role as a director of advisory services at Witham, Smith & Brown? Tell us about the company, where they fit into the profession, and what your typical day there looks like. Cool, Kyle. So Witham is a large regional firm in the U.S., East Coast based. We have about 1,300 staff today and 17 offices on the East Coast of the United States. We're part of an international association called HLB International. That gives us a global fr- footprint and literally brings me around the globe, helping clients, speaking at conferences, events like that. Uh, my role at Witham, I'm Managing Director of Advisory Services, a new role that we created about three years ago uh, as we recognize the change in the profession And we wanted to make a huge push, a huge focus in deep diving on offering advisory services to our clients. You're here in London, you speak a lot internationally, and whenever you speak at the end of a session, I'm sure you sit down and take questions from the audience. And when you start that that AMA session, when you shout out those words, okay, accountants, hit me, ask me anything, what are the most common questions you get back? Oh, well, sometimes I get crazy questions. You're right. At the end of every single conference, I ask, I say, open it up, lines of people form. Uh, But I'll tell you, everyone is scared. They're scared about the impact of blockchain. Is it going to rock their world? How is it going to change? They see it. They read about it. But the, the truth of the matter is they don't see it today. And they're all asking, how will this impact me? I don't understand. I don't get it. Do I need to be worried about this today? That's probably the one thing, no matter where I am in the world, that people are asking about today. What are you seeing that's getting attention, but that doesn't really deserve the profession's focus right now? What are the trends grabbing headlines, but which you think won't be real priorities for a while yet? Okay, so so I'll say they're not priorities today, but let me tell you, they will be priorities in three years, in five years. It's everything around technology driving that. It's AI, it's machine learning, it's cognitive learning, it's, it's dealing with blockchain, it's auditing, looking at blockchain and the impact of that on our clients. So is it here today, right now, today, as we impact everything? No, but we need to be aware of it. We need to understand uh, how it will impact our profession. And let me tell you, Kyle, it will most definitely impact our profession. And there's always been change. Disruption has always been a constant. Uh, It's nothing new. And in the context of the work that you do right now, what was the last big disruption that you saw in the accounting and finance profession? And 
uh, when you look back at it, what do you wish that people in the profession had known about that disruption before it happened? So look at it today. Today, it's about the explosion of data, right? All of our clients, all of our firms around the globe, we have massive amounts of data. And it, it wasn't until like recently that we started to really look at these tools and how we can utilize these tools to improve efficiency in the audit, in the tax space, in the advisory space. Well, the truth of the matter is data has been building since the formation of the internet. So nothing has changed. It was, it was happening right before our eyes, but it wasn't until the last, I'd say, 20 24 months that we have now a huge focus on data. I would encourage any firm, if you're not looking at the data, if you're doing audit and a test the old fashioned way with lots of paper, get away from it. Start focusing on this data. So Kyle, so many tools are available in the marketplace today. And being aware of those tools is important, though you may not have uh, seen it coming, it certainly is here now. Let me just say that four letter word, GDPR. Um, we hear a lot about digital transformation and digital readiness, but we've heard about this for years, but now people are talking about it every day. There's no conversation online which does not mention in the professional context digital mindsets, changes in the way we view transformation. What has changed in the last couple of years? Oh, so many things. It's really more of an awareness than anything else. And what has happened is, you know, I talked about these tools before. We have all these tools that are coming into the marketplace to help us analyze that data. The problem that we have in this profession, though, is that we're still following standards that were built before this explosion of data. So we're following so many of these legacy rules. I know at the AICPA and SEMA, we are working extremely hard to work with the regulators to bring them up to speed to change the way in which we do an audit. Get away from the sampling world. Focus on looking at 100%, because the truth of the matter is, Kyle, today there are tools available that allow us to more rapidly analyze 100% of the data than to go through a traditional, you know, accountant type sampling type technique on an audit process. And whenever you look at auditing, you look at a business, you look at its resources, you look at its assets, you look at the people, and then you look at what the people are doing and what drives their actions. Obviously, it's their mindset. And in a digital world, we have to be talking about digital mindsets. What is that digital mindset we need right now that will take us and the profession where we need to go? So that digital mindset, Kyle, think about this. When you start an audit, you, you, you do something called a brainstorming session. And you sit in a brainstorming session, and to be politically correct, I'll call them with legacy people, okay, on the audit. And you have new people on the audit, the millennials, the Gen Ys. And what we do on, on, in a brainstorming session that generation has grown up with technology. They understand technology. So basically what we do is we wipe the slate clean. When we start an audit, I say to the young, the young professionals that are joining the team, rethink this audit from your perspective. How can we audit differently? Rely totally upon the legacy uh, players on the team to help drive us from a standards perspective because they have that, that great knowledge. But let's lean on technology. Let's find ways to utilize technology like we've never utilized technology before. And then the question is, who's going to do that? Who's going to drive digital change in a business? And how do non-techies drive that tech-based transformation? How do we move from advising on changes to advocating for that change and then turning all of that into action? We will pick up on all of those questions when we continue our conversation with Jim Burke in a minute. Are you ready for disruption? Join us in Chicago, Illinois, April 24th through 26th at the AICPA CFO Conference to find out. The CFO Conference keeps you at the cutting edge of the financial industry with 22 sessions developed for CFOs, by CFOs, 33 subject matter experts, and two professional networking sessions. It's the one event of the year specifically designed to prepare you for disruption and provide you with the opportunities to advance your career and make your mark in the C-suite world. Get $75 off when you register before March 12th and use promo code CFO19 for an extra $75 off for a total savings of $150. But don't worry, if you're hearing this podcast after March 12th, you can still use promo code CFO19. And if you can't attend the CFO conference in person, you can still join us online so you don't miss out with all of our exclusive sessions streamed live in real time straight to your computer or mobile device. You'll also have access to remote networking, chat rooms, handouts, and slides, just as if you were there with us on site. Register today at AICPAstore.com slash CFO, and we'll look forward to seeing you at the 2019 CFO Conference. 
You're listening to the Go Beyond Disruption podcast. Let's pick up on that conversation about digital mindset and disruptive trends with Jim Burke, Director of Advisory Services for US-based Witham, Smith and Brown. We were talking about driving digital transformation. My question for Jim Burke is, who does that? Because we know the techies know the tech, but they don't always know the business. They don't always know how that tech will help the business in the best way for its particular situations and objectives. Um, we were talking about the, I suppose, thinking of it as a, as a rally car. So what are some of the typical scenarios you're seeing out there about how people need to work together, non-techies and techies, side by side, and how does that change from market to market when you look at how organizations are driving that digital transformation? Is it always one person who does it? Wow, loaded question, Kyle. So I love the rally car analogy. So think about the rally car. When, when, when a car wins a race, is it because of the driver? Is it because of the guy in his ear? No, it, there, there, there are lots of individuals on that team. It's a team effort, even though there's one driver. So on an engagement, you may have an engagement partner. That's the one driver of the engagement, right? But to be successful in change, implementing change, technology, advisory, it's an entire team. It's not the tech guys. Although I'd say technology is driving advisory services. Everything we're doing in advisory is driven by technology. All of the changes in the audit today, why are we changing? Why are, why are machines doing the manual tasks? It's because it's being driven by technology. So the technology gurus, they need to have a seat at the table. The auditors need to have a seat at the table. The tax people need to have a seat at the table. And quite frankly, Kyle, it's not just about CPAs and chartered accountants anymore. Our whole profession is changing. Today, we have all sorts of talent. We have engineers. We have all different people with all, they look different software people. Uh, we have data scientists. We have so many different people around the table, and they're all part of the team. Everyone plays a super important role in, in that transformation process. And when you travel, are you seeing the same thing happen from market to market, from economy to economy, from country or continent to continent? Is it something that you're discovering is universal? Are companies and professional finance providers doing things in the same way everywhere? Well, there's some changes that perhaps most people may not know about. So Kyle, I, I, the reason why I love my job so much is that no matter where I go, so I speak English, right? But more importantly, I speak technology and technology is the language that is embraced. I'm sitting here in London today. I talk about technology, whether it's Sydney, whether it's Mumbai, whether it's, I don't care where it is in the globe. On the globe, I'm speaking about technology. It's the common language. Yes, certain countries deal with slow internet speed. Some have fast internet speed. But those are that's all smoke and mirrors because it's technology. From an audit perspective, you know, an auditor can't talk about audit in a common language around the globe. There are differences. Tax people can't talk about common tax issues around the globe. There are differences. Well, I will tell you, technology. I, I, I give the same presentations and they resonate around the globe. Certain countries are moving faster than other countries with respect to this change. But I will tell you one thing, Kyle, it's technology is driving the globe and is driving our profession. That leaves a non-tech person who may be at the, uh, in the C-suite in a strange position because they have their hands on that wheel. They are the, the driver of that rally car, but they may not understand the technology. They may not be seeing the same map as their navigator or the head of uh, technology, maybe. So I have to ask the question, how does a non-tech team member of that team, that organization, drive digital transformation when they don't have their hands on the lever of that company? What are some ways you'd suggest that a non-tech team person can take on the role of a, a credible advisor or an advocate or someone who can drive the actions necessary? You don't need to be a technologist. You don't need to be deep diving and understanding every single unique thing about technology in order to drive that change. I will tell you the leaders of firms today, maybe some of them, Legacy leaders are not as tech savvy as some of the other uh, individuals in firms, but I will tell you they're responsible still for, for, for 
really driving the ship for 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 charging the direction of the firm, where the firm is going. Look, I will tell you, the leaders of firms around the globe have made a very good living. They live in beautiful homes. They have nice cars. They have a great lifestyle. Well, in order to allow the firm to remain relevant way into the future, the profession is changing. The firm needs to change. Those leaders of today need to embrace change to get that ship to sail on the right track so that the firm can be taken to the next level by the future leaders. And if someone is uncertain about being credible when they're talking to more technically sussed members of their team, what do you think that in their mind they should be remembering as they talk to someone who they may be very conscious, may know more about the tech than they do? What are some suggestions you should give them to say, right, keep this in your mind when you're talking to someone who may know more about the tech? So, so look, here's, here's my philosophy. So I don't know everything about tech, but I surround myself with those individuals that do. So together, you know, together we make change in the firm. Together we enter the advisory space. Together we deploy the right technologies. They have the skill sets. They understand technology. I know the profession very deeply. I know audit. I know tax. I know where we need to move as, as a profession and as a firm. And with the technologists behind us, together as a team, we drive it. So the tech people, the non-tech people play very, very critical roles in driving firm change and transformation. All right. So let's get ahead of the curve and look at what's coming up down that rally track we talk about, the next disruption. What's one big change that lies ahead? How do you recommend we get ready for it, either perhaps as sole practitioners or as team leaders, or indeed as, as the type of people you may often work with, the heads of enterprise level finance divisions? What's coming up? What's coming up is really going back to the roots of what we are as chartered accountants and as CPAs. We're the trusted advisor. Around the globe, we are the trusted advisor. For many, many, many years, we got hung up with compliance-type work, commodity-type work. And today, we're realizing that is more of a commodity than anything else. Yes, look, we own the audit. We own the audit space. I love the audit. I own it. I I'm a CPA, and I, I totally value the fact that we own that space. But I'm also a realist. I, I realize that our profession is changing. The true value that I bring to my clients and that, that everyone listening on this podcast today brings to their clients is the fact that our clients come to us with every single need. And I'll tell you, most of the questions I get asked by my clients don't relate to audit. They don't relate to tax. They relate to operations. They relate to life. They relate to other things. So that is where our true value lies. It's the transformation of our practices today from audit, from tax, to advisor. And that's the true value. I, I, I'll tell you, so we made a very subtle change, but it's a powerful change at Witham. So Witham, our tagline used to be Witham Audit Tax Advisory. Within the last few months, we made a subtle shift. We are now leading with advisory. Our tagline reads advisory, tax, and audit. Why? Because we want to be known as an advisory services firm that also happens to do audits and tax. So it doesn't have to be a revolution. Uh, subtle changes can be as transformational, and that is important. Start with what's closest to you. And I think that example of what you've done with your tagline, just shifting the order of those three words, uh, is, is subtle but still very powerful. And you did talk about the questions we can ask ourselves. When you speak to clients, when you deal with audiences in your presentations as, as an advisor around the world, what is a question you wish people would ask you more? What's the question they need to be asking and you don't think you're hearing enough? So I, I will tell you, so everyone's drinking the juice. Everyone realizes that we will become an advisory profession, lead with advisory as we have our firms remain relevant way into the future. What they don't ask is how do we do it from a practical perspective? They, they don't ask the question. I tell, they listen. I wish more people would ask, how can I give me practical advice on how I can transform my firm from a traditional firm that does audit and tax to a firm that does advisory services? Those are my best clients. I get around the world. I have clients that are, that are accounting firms around the globe. We go in and we help them to change. We give them the tools. We educate them. We talk about all the different people, all the different skill sets that are required today in a firm to be an advisory firm versus the skill sets required yesterday. Well, I'm going to take your advice and ask you the how question. How do people who want to find out about this topic of 
uh, digital mindsets, about technical transformation in the accounting profession, they want to find out about the topic in general, perhaps about your work in particular, where would you recommend they look? Oh, man, look look right here in our profession, right? Look at SEMA. Look at the AICPA. Look at the large conferences. Look at the webinars. So, for example, I mean, a plug for my own conference, Engage Conference, the AICPA. In the U.S., in Vegas, in June, it is the largest conference today. We pull so many individuals into this conference with so many different skill sets because that's the message. It's about advisory, right? It's about pulling people that look different, feel different, act different than ever before. It's not just the CPAs. It's not just the accounting majors. It's not just the chartered accounts. It's like I said earlier, it's engineers, it's data scientists. Go to events that bring together all those different types of individuals, and you'll start to open your eyes to the changes in profession. And you can find out more about the conferences and those resources by looking in our show notes, of course. We've talked about a lot. Uh, we've talked mostly about how to get that that triple A rating, be an advisor, an advocate, an actioner. So with uh, one last question for Jim, I think this is the one to ask him. What's one message, Jim, that you'd like to leave for accounting and finance professionals that will really rock the boat, that will drive that rally car in, in the right way that will help them go beyond disruption? Okay, so think about this. What drives the rally car at the end of the day? It doesn't go anywhere without fuel, right? So think about that concept, fuel. What is driving change in our profession? The fuel is technology, right? So don't view technology as an expense. Man, look, we're all we're all accountants. We all look at the bottom line. We look at expenses. Don't look at technology as a line item expense. View it as a strategic asset, a strategic asset that can help transform your firm and take your firm to the next level. And I said this before, allow your firm to remain relevant way, way, way into the future. Thank you, Jim. A great place to end our conversation today. And there's plenty more to explore about digital mindsets, how to drive tech transformation, about Engage conferences and all the other resources out there to help us go where we need to with our team and with the right digital mindset as well. We make sure the show notes include links to all the resources that Jim has just mentioned. Uh, there are two other websites I'd recommend for listeners interested in taking this further as well. If you're already a member, you might already be using one of these websites. It may already be saved as a bookmark in your browser. AICPAstore.com slash go beyond disruption. You can also go to cgmastore.com slash go beyond disruption. That's where you find courses, webinars, and more professional development resources, which are constantly updated to keep you ahead of the curve. My guest was Director of Advisory Services for Witham, Smith and Brown, uh, based in the Greater New York area. He is Jim Burke. Uh, Jim, thank you so much for talking to us. Where are you going to next? Uh, next, I'm actually, I'm actually US bound. So I'll be in Indianapolis at a Thought Leader Symposium uh, next Monday. All right. Well, thank you very much for stopping off here at the AICPA and SEMA head office in the heart of the city of London. I'm Kyle Hanlon. That was Jim Burke. And we will be back with another episode of Go Beyond Disruption very soon. Till then. Bye bye. Thanks for listening to this episode of Beyond Disruption, brought to you by the Association of International Certified Professional Accountants. Learn more about today's topic at AICPA dash cima dot com forward slash disruption. This podcast is designed to provide illustrative information with respect to the subject matter covered and does not represent an official opinion or position of the AICPA or AICPA.org. It is provided with the understanding that the AICPA and AICPA.org are not engaged in offering legal, accounting, or other professional service. If such advice or expert assistance is required, the services of a competent professional person should be sought. The AICPA and AICPA.org make no representations, warranties, or guarantees as to, and assume no responsibility for, the content or application of the material contained herein, and especially disclaim all liability for any damages arising out of the use of, reference to, or reliance on such material, and on such material, and on such material, and on such material. And on such material. And on such material.